So let's talk about this. Republican Congressman Mario Diaz Balart of Florida joins me now. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Carol. Just a couple of minutes ago, we heard that uh, House Speaker Boehner had filed a lawsuit against the president over Obamacare. Um, can you just um, tell me what you think about that? It's, the lawsuit is really about overreach. It's whether the president can do whatever he or she likes, regardless of what the law may say or not. And, and that's bigger than President Obama or than an issue. That's the separation of powers. That's our Constitution. That's the rule of law. And, you know, no man, no woman, and no president whether it's President Obama or President Nixon, can be above the law. So I think what we're dealing with here is bigger than Obamacare, bigger than an executive action. It's whether the President of the United States has mm -hmm. the power to do whatever he or she wants to do, regardless of whether the law, the law allows him or her to do that or not. That's did really you, a big, big question. Did, did you just compare President Obama to President Nixon? Well, look, I'm not a constitutional authority. You know who is? Who is a constitutional scholar? President Obama. President Obama. He's lectured on the issue. So President Obama, for example, for what, six years, five years, has been saying publicly a number of times that he does not have the legal authority, the legal authority, to do what he has done last night. I agree with a lot of the issues in that executive order, but the question is, does he have the legal authority? It's not you, Carol, or me saying it. President Obama, who has lectured on the Constitution, has said multiple times, publicly and privately, that he does not have the authority to do exactly what he has done. So what we're dealing with here is whether the president is doing things that are unlawful and he himself is the one who has stated multiple times that what he did last night is unlawful. He does not have the legal authority. That's a pretty well, serious well, issue. Well, here's the thing. Um, his executive order doesn't go into effect for six months. So Congress has a chance to do what the president suggested. That would be to pass a bill. Is that on the table? I hope so. I, I've been trying to, I've been working on trying to pass legislation. It would have been nice if the president would have sat down with those of us that are working on doing this to try to see if we could work together and, and join efforts to try to uh, do this as opposed to do it unilaterally. But again, I support a lot of the specific things in the president's executive order. The question is, and it's not me saying it, it's him saying it, does he have the legal authority to do it on his own? Or are there certain things that are the prerogative of the Congress and right. certain things are the prerogative of the president? Now, I, That's a I bigger understand issue, your but concerns, but, 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 now, but now we have to move forward. And the American people kind of want Congress and the president to work together. So it seems as if the president's further poisoned the well. And Congress is intent on fighting back and punishing the president for poisoning the well or taking this executive action that um, many lawmakers don't think is constitutional. That means in the voters' minds that nothing's going to get done either in 2015. I hope not, Carol. I hope we were able to work together. I think that was one of the takeaways for this last election was the American people want us to work together and kind of roll up our sleeves and deal with our differences but try to come up with uh, you know solutions. So but I'm frankly, going to continue nobody to do that. think nobody thinks that's going to happen. Well, and, and the president clearly has not made it easier, unfortunately. And uh, I wish uh, that uh, that he would roll up his sleeves and sat down with the, those of us who are trying to work on this. Look, the new leaders, uh, the leadership of the incoming Congress, has said publicly and privately that they want to tackle immigration reform. The president could have said, okay, give you six months, give you four months, give you five months, and let's see if we can together try to get this thing done. As, as opposed to doing that, he has done something that he himself has said he does not have the legal authority. Now, the Congress isn't talking about punishing President Obama. The Congress is talking about keep, you know, adhering to the Constitution, to making sure that nobody is above the law. That's not punishing the President. That's making sure that we adhere to the Constitution. I'm hoping that we can look at ways to working together. But clearly, the one who has shown once again that he has no intention of working with anybody is President Obama, despite I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to work with the president or with anybody else to try to deal with whether it's immigration reform or other important issues. Because again, we cannot let the partisanship, in this case, the president doing things on his own, even though he has said he can't do it legally. I hope that we can work through this. But again, I think the president has, in essence, on purpose, created a quasi-constitutional issue. I hope we can get through this. I hope I that we can hope do so. this in a way that's constructive to the country and that we can hopefully work things, uh, work things out in the near future. I hope so. Congressman Mario Diaz-Ballard, thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate it.